They don't look exactly like they do on the um, pictures, do they? So you might not know, but I'm an ambassador for British Pork and they pay me in pork. So every two months I'm going to be receiving a delivery of pork and this is my first one today, this giant box of pork. I'm not sure what the weight is, I think it's around seven to nine kilos of pork. Um, so guess what we're having for tea? It's gonna be pork. I'll show you what's in it. Some more diced pork. We're actually using some of this for the supper club, so that's why there's so much of the diced pork. There's bacon, sausages, more sausages, pork chops, loin steaks, a rolled leg of pork, an unsmoked gammon joint, and pork loin shoulder. That's a lot of pork. I'm so impressed with this pork delivery. It's gonna last me for ages. So what I've done is just separated it out. Let me step back so I can get all of that in. I've just like separated it out into portions to go in the freezer. So we've got it all split up and then I've got the big joints at the back. Obviously we're gonna to have to have visitors around to eat those ones because they're huge. Um, the sausages and the chops and everything. I also received so I also received um, two kilos of pork, diced pork, which is for the um, supper club, but I haven't got that out at the moment. I had to get it straight into the freezer because you know when you're doing catering, like the, the chain of custody and the temperature of the pork has to be recorded all the time. So I don't really want to have it out even for these few minutes while I'm just filming it to show it to you because, um, because it's a catering project, I really just can't risk it being out of refrigeration for, for very long at all. But yeah, this is um, my pork haul. I'm doing a blog post this afternoon, which needs dried oranges. So I've just sliced these two oranges to make the pretty dried slices. But look at these oranges. So this one must have had like another orange growing inside it. I don't know how well you can see that, but see that's what orange slices normally look like. And that's what these orange slices look like. Maybe they'll make a pretty decoration. I kind of underestimated how long it would take to do the um, oranges in the oven. They're still in there and they're not dried out yet. But they, they are on a low heat. And turns out we don't really have anything to go with the pork chops. So we kind of opted for a takeaway. Yes, it's true. Food bloggers do have takeaways. So don't tell anyone, but we're having a takeaway for tea. So I didn't actually know what to order, so I just ordered one of those set menus for two people. And actually there was a lot of food there for two people. People, There's um, pop drums, naan, there's a, like a tikka starter, she's about three curries. And um, two big things of rice and some dipping sauce and onions and bits and pieces too. There's so much food. <laughs> We're watching Arthur Christmas and doing the Christmas decorations. It's so fun opening the Christmas decorations and all the things that you forget about. Look at this gorgeous tin from last year. And it's got baked apple flavoured sweets in it. And we didn't even eat any. We were in Canada last year for Christmas and I think we brought this back with us. It's such a pretty tin.